What is going on YouTube? I am Stevie Pax. A pomegranate is still continuing to look real good. For being in Pennsylvania, I am very, very impressed. Usually, I'm, I'm pretty, actually pretty sure I'm the only person in Pennsylvania or anywhere else around here, Ohio, until you get like towards Georgia and stuff, that would have a pomegranate tree and plus a coffee tree, orange tree. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of one of a kind. There's no, there's no one else that has this kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. It's looking really, my phone is ringing. My grandma's calling. I'll call her back. Um, so you can see, yeah, this was so much different than last year. Last year was maybe up to here. Now, over winter, it does so, it actually did really, really good over winter. Out of all my plants, this plant probably did the best out of all of them. It really blew up in the winter, and then now, during the summer, it been raining, it been raining a lot, high humidity. It's pretty much like it's back home. And all my plants are really doing good because, because of that. It's just like being in tropical weather. It's been hot, humid, raining. So probably it's like being in Hawaii in a way. The coffee bean plant is doing really good. This thing's coming back. I was scared for a while. I had to replant it. it had um, root rot, I think it was. This wasn't looking good. My orange tree is looking really good. This Really good, just got that a few weeks ago. Looking really good and establish itself. My palm tree here, had this for a few years. Didn't really get that big because we have it in a container. Really nice container. Um, so that's what we have up here for these plants. Okay, what we got going on here is my banana trees. This is bigger than my head. These things you get huge. And for just being a dwarf, these leaves are absolutely huge. I had another one that was supposed to be winter hardy. And it got up to like four or five feet, but sadly it didn't. It was supposed to come back in the spring, but it didn't. Um, so I have these. These been here. This is, uh, I think, fourth generation. I usually don't have them last more than a year, but these ones are usually doing really good. I started with one of these. At one point, I had 17. But I kind of cut back a, a little bit. Keep room for other stuff in my yard. I had banana plants all over my yard. It pretty much looked like I was in Florida or California. And I'm in Pennsylvania, so it's pretty... Pretty cool. I'm, I love how I do this kind of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Not many people do it, and it's a, it's a pretty cool hobby along with hatching chickens too. So I love doing what I do, and I will continue as long the same with YouTube too. I love doing that. I've been doing YouTube longer than I've been doing my plants, and almost as long as I've been doing hatching chickens. So it's a pretty cool stuff I do. Not, not many people do it. Um, so that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, updates my tropical plants and my garden. Um, come back, I just come back, come Friday. I'll be doing a chicken update, and then Monday, I'll be doing our garden update. Then next Wednesday, this time next week, I will be doing another update on my tropical plants. So, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. So, thank you for watching, and see you next week.